The Zig 33, Schweres Infanteriegeschütz 33, was a German 150mm close support infantry gun adopted in 1933. It saw extensive service during World War II and was mounted on a Panzer tank chassis for mobility. Also adopted the same year as part of their rearmament campaign was the German SHF-18 howitzer, a heavy field gun. To achieve greater range, bigger and more powerful cannon were built. Some so large they had to be moved by rail. The Leopold railway cannon was a 280 mm gun capable of firing a projectile weighing 550 pounds up to 11 miles. Its barrel was 70.8 feet long. The Moser Karl railway gun was another. The largest ever built and fired in anger was the German Schwerer Gustav 800mm gun. The British deployed railway guns along their coast near Dover. They were 13.5 inch guns named Gladiator, Scene Shifter and Peacemaker. The Germans deployed 40 centimeter guns near Calais. By the time of the Second World War, some lessons had been learned. This war was lightning fast in comparison to the last. Mobility and overpowering firepower were the keys to success. Due to the variety of terrain that the war was fought over, new gun designs proliferated. The mountain gun, for one. It was able to be disassembled and carried in pieces by either animal or human. Taken through rough mountainous or jungle terrain, it was then reassembled and put to use and as troop support was invaluable. At sea, the galleon had given way to the modern battleship and dreadnought. With massive guns, they were able to lay down barrage fire onto islands and atolls in support of marine landings. theater, several artillery pieces were effective. The M3 model was developed specifically for airborne forces and was able to be parachute dropped or delivered by glider. It was based on the M2 barrel 105mm howitzer and the carriage of the 75mm pack howitzer. Also developed during World War II was the US 155mm howitzer. It was a towed piece with a longer barrel and new breech mechanism to the older designs. It still fired a separate shell and propellant bag configuration. The Russian 76mm field gun was developed as an infantry support weapon and deployed in 1943. It could fire 10 to 12 rounds per minute and had a maximum range of 4.2 kilometers. Production of this weapon ceased at the end of the war. One instance of intense and extended use of artillery above the norm occurred at the Battle of Tali Iantala in 1944, a two-week battle during the Second World War between Finland, Germany and the Soviet Union in an attempt to push Finland out of the war. Utilizing artillery, tank and aircraft bombardment, the Soviets advanced on the Finnish positions. They retreated to secondary defenses with German artillery assistance, the Finnish forces held their ground, but were eventually pushed back to the third line of defense. Due to extensive use of artillery, the Soviets gained ground, but could not destroy the Finnish forces. So the art of artillery had matured. Modern communications allowed for quick-fire response to non-line-of-sight targets. Modern ammunition was accurate and effective the use of artillery batteries was refined. A barrage could be defined by cyclic rate as light fire, being six to seven shells per minute, medium, 30 shells a minute, heavy, 50 to 60 shells a minute. Barrages could be of several types. 
box barrage fired around a target to isolate it from reinforcement or around a friendly outpost to repel infantry attack. Pinpoint barrage aimed at specific targets like machine gun or sniper posts. Search barrage utilizing forward observation or aerial posts to call fall of fire in search of enemy targets. Counter battery fire targeted against enemy artillery. The lifting barrage Artillery fire concentrating on one target, then lifting to a second target further afield, allowing for infantry advance toward the first target. The standing barrage, static defensive fire to withhold territory from enemy forces. The creeping or walking barrage, artillery fire that would slowly move forward, allowing troops to follow behind. The Second World War differs from the first primarily due to mobility. Although barrage tactics were used often, they were never as large as those of the fixed trench warfare of the First World War.